Uh, over the weekend, President Biden urged lawmakers to pass the Senate's national security package, which offers $60 billion for Ukraine and $14 billion for Israel. Former President Trump and South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham both suggesting any future Ukraine aid is in the form of a loan. Joining me now is Tennessee Congressman Andy Ogles. He is a member of the House Financial Services Committee and the House Freedom Caucus. Congressman, thanks very much for being here this morning. Absolutely. Uh, what is your ex expectation when you all come back from recess in terms of the business at hand? Well, you know, uh, there's a lot of pressure to put something forward on Ukraine, but you know, I would argue let's uh, let's secure our border b before we secure another country's border. I mean, that's been the promise. That's that's been the hill that, that everyone has said that we should die on. You, look, uh, it's an 85 percent issue. Our southern border. We have fentanyl coming across the border. We've talked about this ad nauseum, and yet we don't seem to do anything about it. We know that we have terrorists coming across our southern border. So again, why are we talking about Ukraine when we're not talking about our own? country. Yeah, it's a great point, and people want to understand why the Republicans have had no luck securing the border. Why? Well, I mean, obviously, we have an administration that's willfully allowing people to come into this country. Anytime they ask for more money for the quote unquote border, it's to process more people. So imagine that you're at the grocery store, you're in the checkout line, the line is backing up, and they call for more uh, cashiers to come to the front so that they can process more people, right? That's what Joe Biden wants to do more people into the country so we can create more voters for the Democrats. I obviously am against that, not because of the voter situation, because that's illegal. That shouldn't even be on the table. But we're flooding our country. We have an Iranian assassin that's on the loose in our country. There's a manhunt underway. But yet, what are we talking about? We're talking about Ukraine. What are we going to do to protect the American citizen that is at home right now who is less safe because of Joe Biden? Enough is enough. Nothing else should come to the floor until we secure and lock down this border. Well, what do you want to say about this uh, one and a quarter trillion dollar government spending bill that was just uh, signed into law by President Biden? I mean, it includes funding for the controversial group Eco Health Alliance. Uh, we all know what Eco Health Alliance is. They performed gain of function research with the Wuhan Institute of Virology. So, Congressman, we're still giving the Eco Health Alliance money, and yet you can't secure the border? Exactly. I mean, so, the, you know, 2 30 in the morning, this bill is released. Over a thousand pages, my team and other teams were combing through this. And then you get to this section talking about gain of function research in China. It's like, holy crap, what the hell are we doing? Do we not remember COVID? Do we not remember the deaths? Do we not remember the impact to our economy because of what China allowed let loose on the world? And look, even if it was an accident, we know that they delayed alerting the world that COVID was out there. They were they were literally sealing apartments trying to, to, to keep it from spreading. Meanwhile, it jumped to Italy. It spread across Italy. It went across Europe, and then it jumped upon it and it hit our country. Our economy is still reeling because of COVID and gain of function research. And what did this bill do? We're going to go back to China and fund this nonsense? Oh, my goodness. Meanwhile, our southern border is wide open. We've got to secure the border, and we should stop. Look, if we have to do get some sort of gain-of-function research, then let's do it at Guantanamo. Let's do it at some sort of base or installation that we control with a trusted partner, not China. So how did you vote, then, on the bill? Of course, I, I voted no, H-E-double-L no, uh, because, again, and, and it, it speaks for itself. When you have, you know, the majority of the majority, so the Speaker of the House isn't supposed to bring a bill to the floor unless he has a majority of Republican support. This bill, the $1.2 trillion spending bill, did not pass with the majority of Republicans. It passed with a vast majority of Democrats. Yeah. Meanwhile, Georgia Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene says it's enough. Uh, she joined me on Sunday Morning Future saying unless something changes and uh, changes should be made to that spending bill, she's going to bring a motion to remove House Speaker Mike Johnson. She wants to bring that to the floor when you all come back. I recognize that there weren't a lot of choices here, but Freedom Caucus Chairman Bob Good says he cannot defend the job that Mike Johnson is doing as Speaker. What what are your thoughts? Well, look, you know, the speaker is a good friend of mine. I love him to death, but he's made some bad play calls. Uh, you know, what we need right now is a leader who's willing to say the tough things, and that is, it's America first. Not America alone, but it's America first. And nothing else moves until we secure this border. And I'm going to beat this drum all day long. Our border is wide open. You are less safe today because of the southern border. You're now less safe because we're going to fund gain and function research in China. Can anyone say COVID 2.0? But again, this idea, you know, Marjorie brought the, you know, there's, there's, 
the, the motion to vacate, there's two ways it can be brought forward. One is a privileged motion, meaning that there's a there's a time stamp on it, there's a clock that runs run, is running. The other one is by putting it on the desk. So it doesn't have to be brought forward. It can sit there, quite frankly, as leverage to, to get the speaker focused, to focus on the United States of America, not Ukraine, not China. We've got to secure our border. All right, Congressman, thanks very much. We're going to be watching all of that. Congressman Andy Ogles joining us this morning. Good to see you, sir.